hi and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do another flower in my wildflower journal but something different today i got this is a piece of fabric and i got some spray glue sprayed it on a piece of paper stuck the fabric down put this through my printer trimmed it off put it through my trim <laughs> printer and this is what i got isn't that cool? So I've got a piece of fabric with flowers on it. Today I'm going to do the pig face, but I have no idea what this one is. I've tried to look it up. We've seen it everywhere on the West Coast. I have no idea whether this is a flower bud or whether this is a spent flowers or whether they're buds or what. I have no idea and I couldn't find it anywhere looking it up in a book so if anyone knows what that is out there please send me a message or pop it down in the description below the comments so what I'm going to do is where's my pink in the shears oh, I hope they're in here we're just gonna cut this down the center and do the pig's face today now what i'm going to do that's a little bit different is just so on top of it just i wanted to give this book a different you know just different um elements of uh, ways to do flowers so i thought well why not let's put some some string and thread and whatever down on these pig faces Now, if you love the coast, you will know that pig faces are all the way around Australia on the coast. So, you go to the beach, you'll see them on the grasslands just at the edge of the beaches. And you'll mainly see these, this purpley one in the wild. But as you know, if you love to grow pig faces, they, they um, come in all sorts of colours as well. So we'll just do this one today. And we might do the other one in another on another page. So what I thought about doing was putting some ribbon embroidery. I'm gonna concentrate on the big one, I think, or yeah, I might concentrate just on the big one and put a mix of different threads and ribbons and stuff down so where's my scissors let's get started So that's the ribbon embroidery done. 
And then I want to get just some random other threads and add to it just to sort of bulk it up a little bit. Um, might even So I'm just going to um, add different textures in here. That's the aim. Okay, let's get going again. Alright, that's my petals laid down and I'm going to, in the centre, just do, I think, a little ring of knots. There's some little, um, I think I might put some little bullion, a little bullion, a few bullion stitches in there and um, just to bring that flower all together. So there's some bullion stitches there in the centre, there's some French knots on the outside and I might grab some beads out and sequins and um, continue on with that.
Right, that's my pig face finished. So I just wanted to pick well, the one flower out of that and showcase that. So let's grab our Albert over. I'll just put that bead needle away. Turn the needles out of the way. put this back a little bit right that's the page it needs to go on so what I might do is pick it from this side might sew it from this side as well seeing as this one's a little bit smaller Get that? No, I didn't think I did. Got it pinned on. Right, oh, that's my pig face in. Right, let's get a tag. Oh, where are they going? I'll put a tag on there. Let's write the name on it. And we need a pin. I should keep those. Oh, I should keep those pins a bit closer, shouldn't I? Always have to get up and down to get them. She sure might leave them. If I can reach them. Right, with my glue, it's a little bit there, and I didn't put anything pink on the bottom of that. Or purple. I wonder whether I've got something.
this grip. Getting a bow. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I'm really struggling here. Especially with you. Oh, it's cold. Oh god. <laughs> I'll finish this video and I'll flop on the bed and oh, it'll take me a little bit to recover. <laughs> Come on. Where's your end? There you go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There's a little bow. Excuse me. Alright, that's my pig face page done. I love it. It's a um um it's a great way of doing um a flower. Just printing it out and then just um you know, picking a certain area and doing some embroidery on that. I'm really happy with that. Something different, isn't it? Something different to what I've been doing. Alright, that's my new flower in my wildflower journal. Bit of stitching, bit of printing, bit of beading. I hope you've enjoyed um, having a look at how I've done that. And um, join me for the next flower in here too. I've got to get some more photos printed out. But I've got another two, four, six flowers to go. Like in this sort of, sort of embroidery or, you know, on the cloth pages. So I'm getting there. Slowly getting there. Alright, so if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. This is my wildflower journal that I've been working in. You can look back at the um, previous episodes, how I've done different flowers. Um, press that bell button to get notifications. You can press the little heart button down here and read what that's all about like share and give me a thumbs up um leave me a comment thank you for the lovely comments from you ladies that have wished me <laughs> to get well <laughs> i'm slowly getting there and um come witchy now <laughs> at night and it'll uh i'll go back down again i know that but that's how it is all right Oh, join me for a new video real soon and I'll see you later. Bye.